There are two figures who give uh, warmth and inspiration to Cecil during these formative years. They are uh, Stephen Tennant primarily and Rex Whistler. Uh, Stephen Tennant is the impossibly beautiful young Shellian, Apollonian uh, scion of an aristocratic family. When he meets um, Stephen, um, all kinds of possibilities now uh, unfurl themselves for him. Chiefly, Stephen loves being photographed. Uh, he, he's in awe of his own beauty. And he has, he has marvellous ideas about what he would like to create with photographs, but, you know, he, not being a photographer, he cannot, uh, he cannot carry them through. So he needs someone to, 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 to carry out his dreams, if you like, and Cecil is that person. The transaction's a very good one. Stephen gets beautiful photographs, and in return, Cecil gets an entree into an extraordinary world of, of, of people that, that want to be photographed by him. And it's also through Stephen, and especially Stephen's weekend house parties at Wilsford Manor, the tenant family home in Wiltshire, that the real bright young thing, fun, comes into play. Uh, Cecil meets people like Dorothy Wilde. Uh, he sees Stephen Runciman again. Uh, he sees the Jungman sisters, uh, who are extraordinary sort of playful uh, sisters who, who, who enliven the bright young thing scene. And it's there at Wilsford that the, I suppose, the most famous totemic image of the bright young things, of the group of them arranged across the bridge, dressed in Regency clothes, um, doing absolutely nothing other than being there, posing there, dressed up as beautiful, lovely, um, otherworldly creatures. Later the same day that they've, they've, they've taken that photograph on the bridge, um, Siegfried Sassoon, uh, the, the war poet, um, is also there and he drives them all to see his friend Lytton Strachey. And Lytton Strachey says, I, I, I saw these marvellous people with, they were absolutely beautiful, but they had feathers where brains should be.